What's up, everybody? So, I just want to come on here and say, you guys, like, don't be in such a rush to get to the destination, like, or even take over certain territory. Like, the hidden season is so important, especially, 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 like, when you are going to snatch stuff from satan when you're going to take over certain territories and put god in an altar unto god and remove the veil like especially especially like when you are going into places where you also will be exposing the enemy because let me tell you there's going to be people watching you there's going to be people talking negative about you even though you're doing the will of the lord Right? Even though you're doing the will of your father, even though you're showing up, even though you're preaching the truth, people will find any way to come for you. Any way to talk about you, if it's about your nails, if it's about your looks, if it's about anything that has to do with you, even though the Lord has called you, even though the Lord has molded you, even though the Lord equipped you. Why? Because Satan don't want you to fulfill the calling on your life. If he can get people to diminish you, to talk down on you, and to start projecting their views. Because let me tell you something. Just because somebody says, Lord, Lord, you know, just because people have name titles and, you know, uh, and hashtag Jesus is Lord or hashtag uh, child of the most high or hashtag whatever does not mean they're by God. Because let me tell you something. Was there not a script? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, backing me up. So there's even a point where you know jesus is talking uh this is right before he's getting ready to be taken for crucifixion and peter says something to jesus and jesus has to rebuke him has to rebuke satan through peter even though peter was there all this time jesus had to rebuke satan and peter who was manipulating Peter, I won't even say in him, but influenced him. So just because people come in the name of the Lord does not mean they're sent by God. Sometimes they're sent by their flesh. And if you are those types of people that sit there and a person is sitting here giving the word of the Lord and all you want to talk about is everything other than the word that they have given, that was given by the Lord, you need to ask yourself, are you even yielded to the Holy Spirit? Are you even submissive? Are you even consecrated? Are you considered holy? Are you righteous? Are you right with the Lord? Because how can two be together, right? How can, how can anything be together if it's just coming to divide? Right? God says if you're not gathering, well, Jesus says if you're not gathering, you're scattering and you're against me. So ask yourself before you decide to go criticize a child of God based off of just what they look like, the nails they have on, their hairstyle, right? Their, their makeup. Ask yourself, are you coming in the will of our Father? Are you coming in the name of the Lord? Or are you doing the work of Satan? And I'm saying this because... You guys, there's a lot of you who are scared to come out and do the will of your father because you're scared of what people have to say. But let me tell you, God will train you up and it won't faze you. You won't even care. You won't even care because God will make your face like flint. You know what I'm saying? And he's reminding me of even Ezekiel where he says like he will make your forehead like your face even harder than flint. So do not worry about the persecution. Who cares what these people say? Like if he called you, show up because that means he's going to back you up. That means he's already gone ahead. That means your angels are already surrounding you. It means that what they say is going to go in one ear and out the other. 
I promise it won't phase you. I promise if you let God hide you and equip you, then when he pushes you to the front of the stage and people have all these negative things to say, and yeah, I'm doing the nails because I know y'all religious folks is going to be mad, but I ain't talking to you. So get out the way and let me talk to the child of God who does not want to come out of hiding because you're scared of those people. They can't do nothing to you. If you're called by God, like, oh, if you are, listen, when you're in the will of God, he covers you. He covers you. He covers you. And if he tells you he's going to protect you, that's what he's going to do. I'm trying to tell you, like, I've done and been in places that have been dangerous, sent by the Lord. And guess what? Five, 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 grace, right? I'm still here. God is still covering me. He still has my back. Guess what? I can still hear him. So don't... And I see him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because he's backing me up, y'all. So if he's called you to come out of hiding, do it. Do it. Like Satan, he loves to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like he likes to intimidate you. He likes to push you down. He likes to make you think you don't know what you're talking about. But you've been in the presence of God. You've been in the intimate places. You've laid your life down. It don't matter what they think. Thank you, God. Acts, what is it? 529. Like Peter and the apostles reply. They say we ought to obey God rather than men. Who do you do it for? Listen, let me tell you something. And thank you for that scripture. He's reminding me in Jude, right? How Satan wants to take um, Moses' body. How he's trying to take Moses' body, but the angel of the Lord is there and he rebukes Satan. And God says, mm, and he's saying even now, like, <laughs> he is the one to be feared, he, not people, he is the one who can send the body, the flesh, and the soul to hell. Not these people who want to condemn you. And we're in Isaiah right now. And he says, if they gather against you, they're not sent by me. But he also says he said that vengeance is his. He also says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Listen, people going to talk about you no matter what you do, honey. Whether you go out and you're a mechanic, whether you serve at a restaurant, whether you are on the stage, whether you're behind the stage, they going to talk about you. So you might as well get out here and make Jesus' name famous. Go ahead and let them know which God you serve. I serve God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Yahweh. And guess what? I'm not going to stop talking about him. I'm not going to stop showing up until he tells me not to. And so for those who want to come against these people who are doing the work of, of God and he's calling them to come out, but you're telling them to stay back, you'll be held responsible for that one day. Yeah, because God is judging us all. And you will be responsible for getting up in their way and talking dad and, uh, bad and doing the work of Satan. You'll be judged for that. So watch what come out your mouth. Watch what you say to people. Especially if you over here screaming, you serve Jesus, you serve God, you serve the Holy Ghost. Well, you better show up in that and be sensitive to the Spirit of God because God don't play about his children I know we hear that and and a lot of people let it go in one ear and out the other but catch yourself because this is your warning this is your warning if you didn't know God decided to pull me up today and have me make this video so you know because what you're doing is you're rejecting God not the person you're rejecting his word not the person your problem is God now, not the person. So watch what spirits you're letting influence you. 
and for those of you who are scared that god is saying come out because he is doing a new thing it has springed up you guys don't be afraid don't be afraid i release the spirit of of life into you a boldness courageous be courageous be strong do not be afraid what can mere man do to you when god has called you when he's chosen you when he's marked you when he has places for you to be and territories for you to take over rise up king rise up queen i pray that this meets you well i pray that this stirs up your spirit and your gifts i pray that your eyes are open and the scales fall off i pray that your ears are unclogged and you can hear what the spirit of the lord is saying i pray that your heart is softened and and you can actually receive what god has for you don't miss your moment because of people because i guarantee you they're in disobedient and they're going to have to deal with that. And I guarantee you, if they had the spirit of the Lord backing them up, they'd be doing what they need to be doing for God's kingdom and not the enemies. So choose this day who you will serve. Because the Lord says, those who do my father's will, they're the ones who go to heaven. So don't let the enemy hold you back. Don't let the enemy, you know, try to trick you into anything. Because Satan ain't nothing compared to God. He is not an equal, not a competition. He is below God. God first. Remember, he was a part of the angels that God created. So don't even let none of that phase you. Just make sure you're living the life God has called you to. Make sure your heart is pure. And if you have been the type of people going out there speaking against God's children, repent. Repent. Free yourself. So you too can step into purpose that God has for you. It's not too late. You don't have to be jealous. You don't have to be a hater. You don't have to be envious. Why? Because God also called you to something. God also has plans for you. <sighs> Man, read Jeremiah 29 11 because that's about you it's not one child more special than any the other it's just one had the nerves and the gut to say yes to God that's it that's what separates you one was willing to go through the crushing one was willing to go through the hard things to be purified and nude by God one was willing to be a living sacrifice that's it but God has a purpose for each and every one of you. Now, whether you want to go ahead and target the children of God and come at their heads and try to make them feel less than, like, what are you really doing? Why are you so bitter? Why are you so mad? Why are you always offended? Let it go. Free yourself and really do the work of God because coming at his children ain't going to bless you and it's not going to save you worrying about nails someone's nails or their makeup or their hair that's <laughs> that ain't gonna get you into heaven and guess what the person with the makeup and the hair right and the nails that's not a salvation problem but you being bitter you being angry you now going against god's children that's a problem that right there is a problem free yourself because God's doing a new thing instead of hating on people why don't you pray for them hmm? why don't you encourage them and lift them up hmm? why don't you do the will of your father if he is the Lord if he is Yahweh if he is Jehovah if he is El Roy if he is Adonai like be real. When you sitting over here saying negative things to people, like, are you moving with the heart of your father? Because remember, God checks the heart. Not your appearance. He checks your heart. What is your heart posture? Right? Isn't that why Saul had to become dethroned and God rose up David? Because of the heart posture? 
you guys. Anyways, I'm making this video to inspire those who God has called. Come out of hiding if it's time for you and God's been telling you to come out. And if God is telling you, wait, be patient, not yet, do it. Because what you gonna do when he puts you in the spotlight and everybody's attacking you? Are you gonna run back in a cave? Are you gonna start crying? Are you gonna regret it? Or are you gonna be bold? Full of fire for God. Like, ain't nobody gonna stop nothing that God's called me to. Because we are soldiers. We are warriors in Christ. God equips us before he sends us. Like, think about it. And I'm thinking of Gideon when he actually came out of hiding when he was afraid and he was in the war. He wasn't scared for the war. He wasn't scared for the fight. Why? Because God already assured him. Let's talk about Joshua. When it was time to fight, he wasn't scared to go to war. He showed up. And what about David? When God gave him the word, yeah, you're going to conquer all. Yeah, you'll go and subdue. He went and that's what he did. When you got a friend like Jesus, when you have a God who is really supreme, high and almighty, when you really know who you serve, you're not afraid of those little things. Because you know that they're nothing but a human compared to God. You know that Satan ain't nothing compared to God. He can't even touch you. Did you read the book of Job? Hmm, when he wanted to touch him? He was like, oh God, but you have a hedge of protection. Now, I'm not telling y'all to move if God ain't called you or told you to do that. I'm telling you to move if God has told you to do that. If he told you, do it. Because God has a point to prove to these people who are delusional and lost their mind and don't know who he is. Come on, God sits on a throne and the earth is his footstool. God created all of this. The earth, us, our blood runs because he put it in us. Our heart beats because he's breathing on us. Like. Come on, you guys, when we fall and we scrape ourselves, our skin can heal itself. This is God. He's not some human. He is great and mighty and powerful. And I bless his name. I bless his name. I bless your name, oh God. I give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise for what you want to do through all of this through all of the earth, through your people. Father God, I pray that you blow a second wind into the ones you are calling to come out. I pray, Father God, that you would give them the strength to do what it is you're asking and the wisdom and the knowledge to pursue it and to remain there and hold on those positions. I pray, Father God, that you expose every Satan, expose every evil spirit. I pray, Father God, that you would expose the principalities, powers, rules of the darkness of this world and wickedness in high places. Father God, I pray that you would expose them and remove them and rise up your Davids and remove your souls. Father, and I pray that you let your Davids know that you are backing them up and that the Holy Spirit against a freaking, um, what is it called, God? What, oh, Goliath, thank you, God. Like, that's not even a match. That's not even a match. And I pray anybody who is coming up on here, God, to do the work of Satan, I pray that you handle them and that you deal with them, Father. And I pray for a quick conviction. And I pray, Father, that you deal with them swiftly so they know that you are real and yours are nothing to be played with in Jesus' name. Whether they watch the video, the whole thing, or just comment because they are distracted and moving in the way Satan wants them to, to miss the message and to miss the mark. Pray with you, deal with them swiftly in Jesus' mighty name. All right, you guys, have a beautiful and blessed day. This was my assignment today. And so, again, if you're in the hidden season, remain there. Because when you come out and it's actually time to go to war, you're going to need to be ready. And it's not based off of the skills you've learned, but it's off of 
who God has revealed himself to you as and do you believe that he is truly the God that he has shown you he is in the dark places, in the alone time, in the consecrated places, in the intimacy. Because when you can agree with God, chains are broken, strongholds are broken, bondages are broken. So you guys agree with God quickly and let him use you in Jesus' name. All right, I'm out. Bye.